Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another shipbuilding guide in Starfield. Today we're going to be looking at how to create the Crimson Viper. Uh, this is a 100% custom build that I created. It is one of my favorite builds just because of the way that it looks and the color scheme. I really like the black and the red. Um, with that being said, make sure that you check the description for all the mods that you will need for this build. It is very heavily modded. Um, and then also, uh, just notice that I did kind of use the Federal Corvette as sort of a base and then tweaked a lot of stuff to get this. So. With that being said, we're going to get into this build. Uh, I did do things a little bit differently because we're going to be doing a lot of the glitch building uh, in this uh, in this build. Um, I, I hid a lot of stuff, so just if you get nothing else, you will absolutely need to get the shipbuilder tolerance tweaks. Unless you know how to like really glitch build without any mods, it is doable. I don't know how to do it because I've got mods, but anyways. With that being said, let's go ahead uh, and we are going to look at the bottom. That's where we're going to start. So, starting at the front, we have a Stroud nose cap C. Next to that, we have a Stroud nose cap E. And then another Stroud nose cap C. On top of the two nose caps, we do have two equipment plates on the back uh, snap point and then we have two Riza 300 PHZ SX lasers okay make sure you get both of these and they are going to be hidden it's part of the glitch building uh, in in the center behind the Stroud nose cap we have an AccuLander 11 landing gear and then behind that we've got a Tayo captain's quarters two by one next to that we have the Stroud living quarters two by two behind that we have a Stroud all-in-one berth two by one a and then the Stroud battle stations two by two behind that we have the stability pro landing bay and then we have the Stroud cargo hall two by two Behind that, we have the Stroud Mid Bracer. And then uh, behind that, we have the Stroud Companionway 1x1. One one. And then next to that, we've got the Accu Lander 11 Landing Gear. And then on the very, very back here, we have three Dimos belly afts. Okay. Now notice I did not touch anything here. We'll get to that in uh, just a moment. But uh, for this bottom piece of the wing, we've got two of these. Uh, starting at the front of the wing, we have a Stroud cap A. And notice that's flipped upside down and no notice the orientation curved side needs to be facing out and then we've got another AccuLander 11 landing gear and again the cur curved portion is facing out and then on top of the landing gear we have an Adlati 280C missile launcher and we have our equipment plate there to attach that and then we have the SA uh, for 330 engine and then next to that the thing that attaches it we have a Stroud engine bracer A on this side we have the exact same thing on the wing it's just flipped so it's the copy that over to the other side um, and then you can get that if you want to snap all that into place uh, I have an AccuLander 11 landing gear down here, but we're not going to mess with that just yet. That does go right here in this empty spot. Um, and notice that that landing gear is 
the uh, the one that's got the four sides with a snapping point on it. So just make sure that if you want to do that, put that there. But for the sake of this build, you don't want that there, at least not yet, because it's going to make your life a lot harder. Now, for this empty spot, this is where the glitch building is going to come into play. This is where the uh, um, this is where the fuel tanks, grav drive, and ra reactors are going to go. Everything is going to go right there. I have everything nice and hidden. It's uh, pretty ingenious. <clears throat> so, starting with our fuel tank going to just snap that in there. That snaps in really nice. And then we're going to get the next fuel tank. And it's going to want to snap right there. You don't want that. Go ahead and make it glitch a little bit to where it's inside. Again, this is where the, uh, the mod comes in handy. And then you want to go ahead and select everything. And then grab it. It might snap there. If it does, simply Flick over a little bit to the left so that you've got both your fuel tanks right there. Uh, next we'll do all of the reactors. Notice we have one, two, three, four of the 104 DS mag inertial reactors. That's what I always use. This is the number that I always have. Um, it just it makes sure I have more than enough uh, reactor pips to get all of my stuff up and running. <clears throat> so again this is going to want to snap either below or on top. You don't want that. Put that right there. Again select everything and voila. Now it is glitched in there and then we're just going to keep doing this. Oh! No, no. We don't want that there go. Notice it just sometimes it doesn't like to go where you want it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, I've got the SGD2400 Grav Drive. Um, I've moved away from the M-Class Grav Drive just because it's so big and it's so hard to hide. I mean, you need a really, really big ship to hide that thing. And uh, my jump range is 29 light years with this. So I lost one light year. Like, it's not that big of a deal. So we're going to keep this. Ahead, select everything. Now that you have all that in place, now you got to get your landing gear where you want it. Again, it's pretty simple. You just kind of roughly put it where you need it. Select all, and voila! Now all your stuff is nice and hidden. That's what you want. You want all of your stuff to be hidden. Now, moving on to the second layer. Up front, we have the Stroud Cap A port for top, Stroud Nose Cap B, and then another Stroud Cap A. Behind that, we have the Stroud Cowling 1LAST and then Stroud Science Lab 2x1, Stroud Cowling, another Stroud Cowling, another Stroud Cowling, another Stroud Cowling, and then we've got the Stroud Workshop 2x1, and then two more Stroud Cowlings. So we should have one, two, three, four Stroud Cowlings on both sides, but notice this cowling over here is off to the side as you can see, I've got three 
shields that we're going to glitch into there. So make sure that you have all of that set like that first. And then we're using, of course, the Zeus uh, 4070 M shield generators. Um, again, mods, make sure you got them. We're going to just do the same glitch build. This is attached to the Stroud Workshop 2x1. So you just kind of roughly put that where it needs to go. And it'll snap into place like that. And then this, because it's got the two uh, front and back connectors, it should just snap in without any issue. Uh, since you have all of that now, we can move on to the back portions. We've got the Stroud Control Station 2x1, and then a Stroud Computer Core 2x2. Um, on this, we do have two equipment plates on either side with two Obliterator 250 MEV Alpha Beams. Make sure that you have both of those. Uh, I actually have something needs to move real quick, so I need to show you all how to do that. Behind that, uh, we've got a Stroud mid bracer. And then on top, we've got another equipment plate with another obliterator. Next to that, we have the Stroud Companionway one by one, and then another Stroud Mid Bracer with, again, equipment plate and uh, the obliterator. And then on either side of this, we have the top portions of the wings. Again, we're just going to look at the left hand side here, right hand side, left hand side depending on your orientation. Um, Stroud Engine Bracer A, and then it's the same as the bottom, it's just flipped. We've got Stroud Cap A, Starboard for top, and then Stroud Cowling, and then an SA4330 engine. And then on this side, it's the exact same thing, just uh, flipped. That's where all of that goes. Don't notice, we have some stuff floating that is on purpose. I've got four of the 10ST hauler shielded cargo holds. I've got four of these so that we've got a good amount of shielded cargo. Um, what we're going to want to do with this is we're going to want to kind of, come on, Glitch that into there, into the left side of this Stroud Mid Bracer. You can do that on the left or on the right or both. I picked the left just because I did. Um, again, we're just going to glitch build all this, so just select all, and that snaps into place, and then we're going to just keep doing that. That did not work. Why did you go there? I don't want you to go there. Stop it. Stop being difficult. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we got it all glitched into there. Uh, that hides it really, really well so you don't have just this random cargo piece. Of course, you could put the cargo back here. You could put three and then glitch one on uh, any of these spots, but I didn't like the way that looked, so I went ahead and actually hid them. <clears throat> now, notice we do have two engines. Uh, the other engine is glitched inside. That's not good. Okay. Okay. We've got two extra engines back here, the SA4330. Again, we're just going to glitch build these. Right like that. And we do that with this one too. Like 
that. And that is the second portion done. Now we should be able to just select all, grab it, and there you go. Notice how this is all lined up nice and neat. The front end lines up with the front end, the wings line up with the wings. That's what you want. Now, for the top portion of this ship, the bridge area, starting at the front, we have a Dimos braking engine. And then next to that, we've got the Viking CP220 cockpit. And then we have an, another Dimos braking engine. And then behind the two braking engines, we have two Dimos hull A's on either side and then behind the cockpit we have a Stroud companionway one by one and on top of it we have the 100 dp slim docker top now on the back end here we have uh, three SAL 6830 engines one two three now notice we have two off to the side because we're going to glitch build them inside. So again, we're just going to take this. These can be very tricky, by the way. I don't know why, but these engines in specific are problematic. Sometimes they, they like to glitch, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you got to move stuff, and detach stuff to get it to work. So just keep that in mind as you're building. I have found with this build, it is good to get your cockpit uh, up and away from everything and then select all and drag it down where you want it. So keep that in mind. These don't like to play nice. See what I mean? So let's put that there. Select all. Alright, that's slotted in nice and neat. Select all. And done. Now we can select everything. We want this to drop down right there. Is that accurate? Yes. I believe it is. Yeah. Okay. So that is the build. Um, again, this is one of my favorite uh, builds that I've created. It is 100% custom. Uh, I think that's part of why I like it so much. It looks really, really good too. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's it's a really, really neat looking ship. <clears throat> also has a good amount of firepower, so. Why do we have an error? Oh, right. Make sure you have all your weapons assigned. Um, mine, uh, Obliterator as the first weapon, the Riza 300 as the second, and then Missile Launchers as the third. Um, I think that is it for the build. Oh, no, it's not. I know what I'm forgetting. Okay. Coloring. Everything's the same. So for color one, it's the dark black color. Color two is red. Uh, the way you get this red color, um, select black. See, I'll even show you. So for color two, which is this red color, just select black and then on the hue make sure it's on red and then saturation you want to move that all the way to the right it's going to take you a minute there it is and then color three I don't know why it does this it always does that's not the color it is color three is black again So that's the color scheme for this ship. <clears throat> now 
we're going to accept the modification. Oh, right. Um, for the name, uh, name it Crimson Viper. That is the name of this ship, of this build. And coming out here. Hopefully this doesn't crash, sometimes it does. Y'all know the drill, I'm sure, by now. Alright. So this, I believe, is the cargo hall. Okay, so that's the cargo hall. This is the uh, the one by one that leads all the way up to the bridge. We only have one ladder in here. I'm very, hey, very much a proponent of having one ladder. I hate having multiple ladders in one ship because it just makes things. Oh, I didn't want to go that way. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Um, I hate having multiple ladders because it makes things complicated and uh, difficult to navigate. Okay, there's our door. It's right there. So we can open this up, and this leads... Here is our uh, all-in-one. It's got beds, which is why I put this in here. Gives the crew a place to sleep. And then here is the... Uh, I want to say crew quarters, that's not, that's not right. Living quarters, two by two living quarters. And then over here, we have our battle stations. And then back here, we have our captain's quarters with nothing missing. Uh, let's see, I believe that's, yep. Okay, that goes to the Red Mile. So we do not want to do that. I believe that's everything that's down here. Should be at least. So we can actually go up to the second floor. Open it up. This is the... I believe this is the computer core. It should be. Yeah, that's the computer core. This is the control station. Got our uh, Did you need workshop something? area. Right. Good good and then our science lab. And that is everything hey. on this level. <clears throat> I feel like I'm missing something. I thought I had, maybe I'm just crazy, I thought I had a, uh, a brig, maybe I don't, I probably don't, I think I got rid of that and moved a few things around so that I could have the cargo hold. By the way, there's a new mod out that actually makes your cargo hold have cargo. So, 
really good mod to have if you're, you know, you don't want to have all the cargo things in your, uh, on your ship, but you still want cargo. Okay. Here's our docker. And then this, this is the cockpit. that we've got plenty of pips left so I can add in more shields if I wanted or pretty much whatever I wanted. And there's all the weapons. Uh, let's see. Where does it want me to go and why? We don't want to go to Narion. We want... Trying to shoot and failing miserably.
obliterators on your ship because they just, well, they obliterate. It's the name, right? Oh, and there's Sarah. She's all sorts of pissed. Should be everything. So, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, uh, and you know, build this if you want. And I will see you guys in the next uh, video. Bye.